Okay. And um, and I asked you earlier if there was some there was an events that happened that you think may be tied to this, and you said that there are. Yeah. I mean, uh, the first time was, and it was about 44 years ago now, when I graduated high school in 69, I got up the next morning and, and was going to work at a small Indian village, a small village up in Bethel, Alaska. And where were you at the time? You were here, or you were yeah, up there? I, yeah, I was living in, in, in around Tacoma. You were living in Tacoma, yeah. and you got on a plane to go up there? Yeah, my first, you know, uh, by myself, you know, not with parents or anything, so got on the plane. And, and headed off to New Adventures and all that. Pretty excited. Yeah. And we got about half an hour, 45 minutes out, and the captain came on and said, according to that, I still don't know why he said this. I just make a big circle. I wouldn't know. He made a big circle? No, I wish he would have, but he said. Yes, what did he say? He said, according to the gauges, we're no longer receiving any, we're not, we're not getting any oil into the engines. Okay, hold on, hit pause. Okay, I want you to tell me where you feel that in your body as a tension, a tightness, a constriction. Right Can you call this area your chest? Yeah. Okay, and, tell, and describe that tightness or... Just, you know, it's, it's tight, it's fear. I mean, it makes me go into the little boy thing. Oh, know? yeah. I mean, it just makes me... Yeah. Just turns me into a child. And if zero is no intensity at all and ten is the most intense about, you've ever been... About, about you're feeling that now as, a, as an eight. So tap on the side of your hand like this. Good. And repeat it loud after me. And again, if I ask you to repeat anything that doesn't sound true, you'd like to say it in a different way, something else shows up, just you know, feel free at any point to correct me, interrupt me, and insert your own words. I want to use your words as much as possible. OK, even though I feel all this tightness in my chest, even though I feel all this tightness in my chest and all of this fear, all this fear the captain comes on and says there isn't any oil going to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest, the, the captain comes on and says that the, that the instruments indicate there's no oil going to the engine, and I feel this tightness and fear in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest, the captain comes on, says the oil's not going to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Okay. Two fingers at the start of the eyebrows. This fear in my chest, side of the eye, this fear in my chest, under the eye, this fear in my chest. Under the nose, this fear in my chest. Right here below your bottom lip on this line, this fear in my chest. Make a small fist, you're gonna tie you're gonna tap where you would tie your necktie knot. This fear in my chest. Four fingers, four inches below the armpit on the side of the body. This fear in my chest. Good. Take a deep breath. Okay. Now I want you to think about the captain coming on and saying there isn't oil going to the engine, and tell me the level of, of fear that you're feeling in your chest right now. It's a little less, six, seven. Six, seven. Okay. Let's do another round. Even though, Even though I still feel this tightness in my chest, and this fear hearing the captain, the oil's not getting to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still feel this tightness in my chest, hearing the captain, the oil's not getting to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest, the captain comes on, he says the oil's not getting to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. This tightness in my chest, this fear in my chest, this tightness in my chest, this fear in my chest, this tightness in my chest, this fear in my chest, this tightness in my chest. Good. Take a deep breath. Okay. Captain comes on. You're about half an hour into it. And he says, 
the oil is not going into the engine. Zero to ten on the intensity now. Out of three. Is it still, is it still in your chest? Okay. All right. Even though I have this remaining tightness in my chest, and this fear, hearing the captain come on, that the oil's not getting to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though the captain comes on and says the oil's not getting into the engine, and I feel this fear and tightness in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this fear and tightness in my chest, when the captain comes on, says the oil's not getting to the engine, I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. This, fa this fear in my chest, 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 this fear in my chest. Good. Take a deep breath. Okay. Now, really pay attention to that voice. The captain comes on. We are going to, I have the instruments indicate that our, the oil is not getting to the engine. How are you feeling about that piece? Before we go on, I know you got more, but how about that piece? You doing okay with that piece? That's way less than something else that keeps coming into my mind. That's right. And what do we call that? Very good. That's part of the process. It's a shifting aspect. It means that we've cleared that one enough for another big part of it to pop up. So let's hear what that is. Well, we'll finish that part where he says that then the stewardess comes out and they're explaining where all of the exits are and, and everybody's got life jackets on. So he, they're telling you to put your life jacket on? Yeah, we have our life jacket on. Okay, hold on. Hit pause and just that image or of the stewardesses coming out and showing that. Are, are you feeling tightness here? Yeah. Okay, and is that higher than a three? It, it suddenly went from about a three back up to about an eight. Okay. Just, yeah. yeah. All right, even though I feel this tightness in my chest, the stewardesses come out showing us the exits. We've all got our life jackets on. I deeply and completely accept myself. <coughs> Even though I see the stewardesses come out and they're explaining where the exits are and we've got our life jackets on and I feel all this tightness in my chest, I deeply and completely accept myself. <coughs> Even though I feel this tightness in my chest, the stewardesses come out they're showing us the emergency exits and we're wearing our life jackets I deeply and completely accept myself this fear in my chest 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 good take a deep breath much better. Much better. Yeah. Zero to ten. Three to four. Okay. Is it still in your chest? A little bit. A little bit in your chest. But, yeah, much better than it was. Yeah. Yeah. We want to. We want. We want to make you get on that plane to Mexico for Christmas. So we need to get rid of this. <laughs> All right. Even though I still feel a little bit in my chest. Still feel a little bit in my chest. Seeing the stewardesses come out. Showing the emergency exits, and we're wearing our life jackets. I deeply and completely accept myself, even though there's a little bit left in my chest. The stewardesses come out. They're pointing out the emergency exits, and we're wearing our life jackets. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest, there's a little bit left. Watching the stewardesses come out, 
pointing, the, to, pointing to the emergency exits. And we're all wearing our life jackets. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. So, um, this little remaining fear. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. <coughs> okay, I want you to really imagine that the stewardesses are coming out. They're pointing out the emergency exits. You all are wearing your life jackets. Zero to ten on that piece of it. Two or three. Two or three. Still in your chest? Not much. Okay. What, what is the thought at that point with the stewardess coming out and pointing the emergency exits? Oh, we're going to you know, get there like a dart. Okay. All right. Like a dart. Even though I feel this fear in my chest, we're going to hit the earth like a dart. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear in my chest, we're going to hit the earth like a dart. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear in my chest, we're going to hit the earth like a dart. I deeply and completely accept myself. This remaining fear in my chest. 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 Good, take a deep breath. <laughs> Crazy stuff, huh? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like you said, I mean, I just, halfway through, then I just transfer on to the other issues with it. So yeah, that's good. yeah. Okay, so the stewardesses come out, and they are um, instructing you where the emergency exits are. You've got your life vests on. Any, anything happening in your chest right now? No, not, not, nothing like it was where I'm just yeah. Stephen explain it. Are you jumping to something else? Uh, well, uh, it's, you know, you get down to silly because we land and, and they find out it's just the gauges. But by then, me and a hundred other people, you know, phobia is born. Okay, yes. Uh, <laughs> you know, yes. And they wouldn't let us out. My plan from that time was when they sit down, I'm getting off this freaking plane. Yeah. And I'm never going to get on another plane. You said that to yourself. Oh, skippy. And, and <laughs> wisely, wisely, they parked us way out on the tarmac. No one could get off. Oh, really? Really. And what, why? So because I think they thought they would have had this many passengers get back on the plane. Everybody's like, we Okay. I mean, so how long were you out there? Probably an hour. Okay, so I want you to remember that p that piece of it where you're sitting, <laughs> and it's the emotion, fear, or something else it's, right now. I mean, I, I can remember I'm making stuff up to the stewardess. I I have to do this. I I have to get off, and I'm and I'm not the only one. I I mean I'm yeah. I feel like I'm begging for my life. I am so yeah. I have to get out of here. Yes. Are you feeling it in your chest? Uh -huh. Zero to ten. Oh, a good day again. Okay. Even though I'm, I, even though I feel this fear in my chest, <laughs> sitting out on the tarmac, out on the tarmac I'm, just I'm just making stuff up. I have to get off this plane. And they're not letting us. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I still feel about an eight in my chest. Just waiting on the tarmac. Just waiting on the tarmac. They're not letting me off. Not letting me off. And, I have to get off this plane. and I have to get off this plane. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest. Even though I feel this tightness in my chest. I have to get off this plane. I have to get off this plane. And they're not letting us. And they're not letting us. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This fear in my chest. 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 
The sphere in my chest. The sphere in my chest. The sphere in my chest. The sphere in my chest. The sphere in my chest. The sphere in my chest. Good. Take a deep breath. Okay. Zero to ten. Just you sitting out the out there on the tarmac making stuff up to try to get off, and they're not letting you off. Zero to ten on that part of it. Um, it's, it's you know about half of what it was. Okay. Still there, and it just it, that's such a big part that followed me every every time I got a plane, which I refer to as the tube of death. The tube of death. Okay. When I would get on and close the door, man, I I I can't get. I have no power. I can't get off. Okay. Uh, You're feeling that. <laughs> Okay, we're going to try it. We're going to keep tapping. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. Look, I'm right here with you, Brad. Just keep tapping. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. I want you to tap. I w can I tap on you? Okay, I want you to just keep breathing and open your eyes. Breathe, breathe, and open your eyes. Keep breathing. Keep breathing. Good. I'm right here with you. Keep your eyes open if you can. Good. Good. I'm right here with you. Just breathe in and out. Slow your breathing down. Good. Good. That's okay. That's okay. Of course. It's part of the process. You're just releasing it all. I'm right here with you. Feeling better? See if you can tap with me. Top of the head. Eyebrows. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. Chin. Collarbone. Under the arm. Good. Again, top of the head. A little bit further back. Top of the head. Very top. There you go. Eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone, under the arm. One more time, top of the head, eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose. Chin, collarbone, under the arm. Take a deep breath. Good. And there's some water here for you, too. <clears throat> I'm embarrassed. I'm sorry. We can tap on the embarrassment. That's okay. You're, you're helping these folks out a lot. They're l we're all learning so much. So pr thank you so much for this. All right. Okay, you ready? <laughs> you ready to keep going? Okay, <laughs> you're in it now. <laughs> Just like on the tube of death. <laughs> okay, so are you still thinking of being on the tarmac or are you fast forwarding to the times where you got on a plane and you had that rush of feeling like I'm in the tube of death? <coughs> The biggest, there's, there's a few things that happen once I get on the plane. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I get to close the door, I get, you know, get anxious and stuff. And, and, okay. Uh, it's just a, such a horrible story, but, you know, I catastrophize things when I'm in that spot. Sure. And, and there was this awful 
plane crash years ago with the, with the Alaska Airlines. It was coming from California. Yes. And it lost the tail rotor and it turned upside down. Mm -hmm. And they were able to fix it and they got it back. Okay. And I just I imagine these poor people inside of that because it's upside down. Uh -huh. They got it fixed and then it did it again and it just went into the ocean like that. Okay. So thinking about that plane, that particular plane flight and crash. Yeah. What, are you feeling in your chest? Uh, just, yeah, you're just, yeah. Okay. It's, I, that's, that's a movie. When, when people are on the plane and they're, and they're moving, I, I feel the plane doing this, or when there's too many on one side, just all these irrational things I know, but it, it, Yeah. So let's, let's start with one, okay. and let's start with the plane that did this. So, so yeah. they do this, and, and, you, and your thought is, you're, you're con most concerned about the people in it? So okay. When people are walking in the plane, or there's, you know, I, it's, I, I, if they do this, I know the plane is going to do this, and I know it's not, but I know it is. Okay. So it's, but it starts with, you know, just, I don't know where, I don't know where to begin. Okay. It just is. Okay. <laughs> okay. So I want you to think about that particular plane that flipped over and went down. Are you thinking more about the people in there or the actual I'm scene? I'm thinking about me in there. Okay. I'm thinking about those, those poor people that are in there just screaming the horror. Just, okay. Just everything. And that's in your shoulders? Crash in a plane, yeah. Okay. All right. Even though I feel all this fear in my shoulders. <laughs> and it's pretty high up there. Yeah? You're like a 10? Yeah. Okay. Just seeing those people in that Alaska Airlines flight. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, just imagining those people on that flight, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this fear in my shoulders, just imagining those people on that flight, I deeply and completely accept myself. It's fear in my shoulders. It's fear in my shoulders. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. Still there. Still there. What are you focusing on? What part of that are you focusing on? The people yelling? The, the, tell me. I mean, I just. I just do this. Okay, you tap. I, I mean, I, I, uh, Start tapping. Okay. I mean, just if, if you can put yourself in a, in a horrible position for years and years and years, imagine yourself to it. You are there. Mm -hmm. And when you get on that plane and the first time you feel any turbulence or anything, Got it. it's there. Got it. And a little of this is all right. When you do that, and I am. Yep. Not good. Yep. Okay. So it just. So are you focused more on the Alaska Airlines flight, or are you imagining yourself that, on a plane that, that's doing that this? That sets it off. That, <coughs> that it does happen. <laughs> One in a million, more than that times, it does happen. Okay. It's going to happen to me. The first time anybody walks down that plane. Okay. So. Jumps up and down. So I actually want you to imagine that that you're that that when somebody's walking down the plane, you're, you're walking in is fine? Oh, no. No, you're walking in the plane. In, into the plane, but once it's flying. Once it's flying. Once, the, once it's flying. So I, taking off, you're fine with? You know, strange enough, it's the only part you like, taking off and landing. Okay. It's a rush. Okay. Once I'm 10 feet off the ground. Okay. And so, so then people start coming down, and what, do you, what is it that you feel when people walk down the aisle? I, I know that if you stood in the front of the plane and you start bouncing, the plane is going to bounce. If okay. people start moving, it's going to go back this way. Okay. As much as I know it's not going to happen. Okay. Okay. I know that it will. Great. <clears throat> Great. Zero to ten on the fear that someone's going to bounce at the big at the front of the plane. That's that's a good that's a good eight or nine. Okay. Even though I feel all of this fear. <laughs> someone's going to stand in the front of the plane. Bounce up, and down, Bounce up and down, and what? Throw the plane out of the sky? It's 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 gonna make it do this. It's gonna make it. Okay. 
control. It's going to lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this fear, someone was going to stand in the front of the plane, bounce up and down, and the plane's going to lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, someone's going to be at the front of the plane, bouncing up and down, and the plane's going to lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. All this fear. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. Okay. Zero to ten on just that fear. Don't go somewhere else yet. Not much has changed. Okay. Even though I feel this fear, keep tapping. Even though I feel this fear, someone will be up at the front of the plane, bouncing up and down, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, someone will stand at the front of the plane, bounce up and down, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all this fear, someone's going to stand at the front of the plane and bounce up and down, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. The fear of the plane losing control when someone's bouncing up and down. This fear of the plane losing control when someone's bouncing up and down. This fear that someone will bounce up and down and the plane will lose control. This fear that the plane will lose control with someone, someone bouncing up and down. All of this fear, someone's going to bounce up and down and the plane will lose control. All of this fear, the plane will lose control when someone's bouncing up and down. This fear that someone will bounce up and down and the plane will lose control. Good. Take a deep breath. I should be able to say that it's a one. It's better. Well, no. This is this is a process. What is you were at ten before? Where are you? Six. 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 Okay. And it's still that someone will go to the front and bounce up and down, the plane will lose control. Yep. Okay. Even though I feel this remaining fear, Even though I feel this remaining fear it's about a six. It's about a six. I, wish it were a one, I wish it were a one. But it's still a six. It's still a six. The fear of someone bouncing up and down at the front of the plane, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear, someone will be at the front of the plane, bouncing up and down, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear, someone at the front of the plane, will stand up and start bouncing up and down and the plane will lose control I deeply and completely accept myself good this fear of someone bouncing up and down this fear of the plane losing control when someone is bouncing up and down the plane will lose control this fear of the plane losing control with someone bouncing up and down. Someone will bounce up and down at the front of the plane and the plane will lose control. Good. Take a deep breath. It was a six. Three. Still there? Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. 
I'm still there. <laughs> we want you on that plane. Okay. <laughs> All right, even though I feel this remaining three, this fear that someone at the front of the plane will bounce up and down, and the plane will lose control, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this remaining fear, that the plane will bounce up, that someone will bounce up and down, and the plane will lose control, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear, someone at the front of the plane will be bouncing up and down, and the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Great. This remaining fear, this remaining fear, this remaining fear, this remaining fear, this remaining fear. Fear. This remaining fear. Good. Okay. Okay. Is it any random person that just walks up to the front and starts bouncing up and down? If he just walks up and down that aisle. Because? And I know he has no reason to jump up and down, but I, so I just grab him. Could it be a child or does it have to be a man? Not so much a kid because they usually don't let that happen. But, you know, the bigger the worse. Okay. All right. You know, so All right. So just walking, going to the restroom, I worry. Okay. Back, okay. should have peed before you left. <laughs> <laughs> Even the <I> <laughs> <laughs> All right. Even though I feel this fear, Even though I feel this fear of, a, of a big guy, of a big guy. The, bigger the, worse, the bigger the worse, walking up and down the aisle, walking up and down the aisle, the plane is going to lose control. The plane is going to lose control. And I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this fear. Even though I feel this fear. That the plane's going to lose control. That the plane's going to lose control. With a big guy walking up and down the aisle. With a big guy walking up and down the aisle. I deeply and completely accept myself. And I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining fear. Even though I feel this remaining fear. Of a big guy walking up and down the aisle. And the plane will lose control. And the plane will lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. This fear of the plane losing control. This fear of the plane losing control. With a big guy walking up and down the aisle. The big guy walking up and down the aisle. This fear of the plane losing control. This fear of the plane losing control. With a big guy walking up and down the aisle. The big guy walking up and down the aisle. This remaining fear. A big guy walking up and down the aisle is going to make the plane lose control. Good? What do you mean good? About a two. Okay. A, a big guy walking up and down the aisle, plane's going to lose control, or something else? The big guy walking up and down the aisle. Okay. Okay. Even though I still feel this remaining two, a big guy walking up and down the aisle is going to make the plane lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining two, a big guy is going to walk up and down the aisle and the plane is going to lose control. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel this remaining two of a big guy walking up and down the aisle is going to make the plane lose control, I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. This fear of the plane losing control when a big guy walks up and down the aisle. This remaining two. This remaining fear. Big guy walking up and down the aisle. It's going to make the plane lose control. This remaining fear. Good. Take a deep breath. <coughs> well, I really didn't think much about it about halfway through. It just went on to the other issues. Yeah. So what's the other issue? 
<laughs> uh, walking on the plane, close the door and sitting down. Okay, just getting on, closing the door. No, I, I would part with that. And closing the door. It's when they close the door. Okay. Can't get out. Okay. Yes. Zero to ten on the moment they close the door. That's where that's the bouncing board. That's where it all starts, right there. Okay. Start to tap. Yeah. If I can get on, you know. Five years ago, my wife and I were going to honeymoon, and I'm because I'm, you know, in lust and love. I said, sure, let's take a plane to Palm Springs. What could go wrong? So we do that, and you know, ten minutes after we're we're in the air, I'm, I'm just I'm just like bawling, and she's like asleep, and I said, no, you're not. <laughs> and so, uh, you know, I, I went to my family physician and got some some yes. some drugs to kind of yes. help with that. Yes. And once I got there, I had been through the experience. I had gotten on, didn't die, and, and all these things didn't happen. So I didn't dread it as much coming back. Right. And, and so I got on, and all was fine. And then we got there, and the said, you know, we just came from Seattle. Wow. Keep the seatbelts on. It is really bumpy. Okay, hold on. Hit pause. Hit pause. Hit pause. Are you feeling that in your chest or somewhere else? <laughs> everywhere? Okay. It, uh, you know. All right. Even though I feel it everywhere, hearing the captain come on, say keep those seatbelts on. Oh boy, am I going to keep my seatbelt on? I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, hearing the captain come on. Keep your seatbelts on. Seat on. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, from my shoulders down, hearing the captain come on, the come on and say, the weather, is it the weather, as he said? The weather in Seattle's bad. You've got to keep your seatbelts on. Seat on. I deeply and completely accept myself. Deeply and completely accept myself. Good. All this fear. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. Zero to ten. Hearing the captain come on. There's bad weather in Seattle. Keep your seatbelts on. Yeah, that's what you're fearing. That's going to do that. Okay. Okay. Even though the captain comes on and says, keep your seatbelts on, and I flash to that Alaska Airlines flight. Did it happen to be Alaska? It happened to be Alaska that you were flying back to Seattle. Okay. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, captain comes on and says, keep your seatbelt on. And I'm flashing to that other Alaska Airlines flight. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, the captain comes on, says, keep your seatbelts on. And I'm flashing to that other Alaska Airlines flight. I deeply and completely accept myself. All this fear. 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 Good. Take a deep breath. How you doing, Brad? Hanging in there. Good job. So zero to ten, the captain comes on. Keep your seatbelts on. There's bad weather in Seattle. Now, yeah, uh, the, the captain coming on that, that doesn't bother me now. What else? What else is you flashing on? The turbulence. It started. Did it start uh, on that flight? It's, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, oh yeah. It's rarely they usually save it for me. 
Hey. <laughs> Okay. Hey, let's go to Hawaii. Six hours. Yeah. And then, you know, and most of the places we like to go, it's, you know, it's warm weather and that causes turbulence and all that. So, you know, a little bit's all right. I mean, I can go down the road and hit a, you know, big hole. It doesn't matter, but I'm not 3,000 feet in it. Yes. So okay. So, so tell me about, is, is, this the, is this the worst turbulence that you've experienced, the trip to Seattle? No. What was the worst one? And, and I honestly have done it several times. I've gone to Alaska numerous times after that because of necessity. And, and uh, I'm, I'm sure that I have, but I don't remember a flight without it because I just okay. tend to okay. wait for it. Okay. Okay. So let, let's just focus on this last trip then. To s <laughs> we were flying back to Seattle. Captain comes on, says, keep your seatbelts on. Then the turbulence starts. Okay. All right. And as the turbulence starts, tell me what's happening in your body right now. I, I just I curl up. And okay. Turn into the little boy. Okay. Even though I want to curl up and turn into a little boy, turbulence has started. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel all of this fear, I want to curl up into a little ball. The turbulence has started. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though the turbulence has started, and I want to curl up into a little ball, I deeply and completely accept myself. All this fear. 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 Good, take a deep breath. Well, it goes from like that to just making me want to cry. Okay, even though it makes me want to cry. Even though it makes me want to cry. Just feeling that turbulence. Just feeling that turbulence. Just tap. Let's just tap and bring the intensity down, Brad, okay? Good. You're doing great. Side of the eye, I'm right here with you. Under the eye, keep tapping. Keep tapping and breathing slowly. I'm right here with you. I'm right here with you. Just keep tapping. Good. Keep tapping. Keep tapping. We're going to include the top of the head again. Good. Start of the eyebrow. Side of the eye. Under the eye. Under the nose. Chin, collarbone, under the arm. Good, top of the head, eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, chin, collarbone. You're doing great. Keep tapping. Keep going. Good. Good. Okay. How are you doing? Better. Better? What? You're too old to act like this? Yeah. Well, yeah, it just that's with so many things in life. We all have that. So um, you're on that, that plane back coming back to Seattle, the turbulence starts. Tell me where you're feeling it right now. Not really as much, but you know, here, the hands. Okay. Even though I feel it in my shoulders and hands. <laughs> the turbulence starts on that trip back to Seattle. I deeply and completely accept myself. 
shoulders and hands. Even though I still feel it in my shoulders and hands. The turbulence starts. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel it in my shoulders and hands. The turbulence starts. I deeply and completely accept myself. The fear in my shoulders and hands. 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 Good. Deep breath. Okay. How you doing? Good. Okay. So you're on the plane. You're feeling okay because you're coming back to Seattle. Captain comes on. He says, keep your seatbelt on. And then you start experiencing some turbulence. How are you feeling right now? No different than when, I mean, normally it would be this. And you're not feeling any of that? Okay. What else happened on that flight back to Seattle? Anything? Uh, apparently you get really loud when you eat downers. I know that's what I'm told. You get what? <laughs> you loud? Really loud after you eat the things that make you relax. So you were loud? Very loud. Okay. I Who? keep saying inside voice. Oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> so I got better and I was fun. So. Yeah, so, no, once, you know. Are you, feeling, are you feeling embarrassed that you were so loud? No. No, great. No, okay. I didn't care. I, I, I wasn't afraid. Okay. I'd much rather be that than, than sit like yes. that and, and yes. have tears come down my face from, from okay. fright. That's, that's, okay. That's, 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 that's feel so now I want you to imagine that you're going to go to Mexico. You're going to get on the plane. Are you traveling Alaska Airlines? Suddenly I go, mm, that's a thought. She usually makes the reservations. Okay. So let's just say that it's let's just say that it's not, for the sake of argument. You're going down to Alaska and you walk in the plane and you don't have any problems with that. You sit down and they close the door. How are you feeling? I, I'm feeling okay. Um, I'm just, I mean, as we're talking about this, I'm, I'm already projecting how am I going to be when I get on there. Okay. I mean, is, is it, you know, if, if, if there's turbulence, am I going to be okay? Am I just going to be tapping myself? I mean, I, you could I be. Do. You could be. I mean, because that's, that's the thing. Am I going to be able to sit and go, hey, it's no worse than, you know, driving down the road? That's, I mean, that's, that's what I want to do. I want to okay. just be like anybody else. And yeah. Sure. Sure. Um, something that is really interesting about phobias is that sometimes the fear is go really gone, but it's our fear that it's not that's still remaining. I'm, I'm afraid. Yeah, that's, that's yes. That's my fear right now. I mean, I feel okay. I don't. Yeah. I'm not thinking. I'm not referring it to what I said to the yeah. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. So actually, we might do that as the last round, but I just want to—I just want to check our work. The flight, the the flight that you took from Tacoma to Alaska, and halfway, half an hour into it, the captain comes on and says that the oil is not getting to the engine. Thinking about that trip now, are you feeling anything in your body as tension, tightness, fear, constriction? Really thoroughly check, yeah. I, I guess because I'm, I'm always so high on that when I think about that. I mean, I'm already freaking out about, you know, flight six months from now. So when I think about that, it's so intense that when I'm thinking about it now, it's nothing like that. So, you know, I suppose it's somewhat, but nothing like it was. Yeah, but I, I want to see if there are any small pieces of that trip that are still left. Well, my mind, I'm sure that uh, it's hard for me to fathom getting on the plane and not thinking about that. 
I got it. It just is. Yeah, and we're gonna we're gonna do that. Okay. But I want you to think about that trip, that particular trip. Nothing like it was, honestly. Just just you know, somewhat. But could you identify what that somewhat is? Uh, like a two or so. And and what part of it do you think is still remaining? I can't get out. You can't get out. Yeah, okay. I get to leave. Okay. I, I on the tarmac. On the tarmac. On the plane. Me. Which is stronger, tarmac or plane? For that trip, only that trip. It's, it's, boy, I mean, it, it, to me it's, it's, it's the same. I'm sitting on the tarmac in the plane and I can't go. Okay, so let's work on that one to get that one to as close to zero as we can. All right, even though I can't get out. Even though I can't get out. Sitting on that tarmac. Sitting on that tarmac. And I feel this remaining fear. I deeply and completely accept myself. I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm sitting on that tarmac, Even though I'm sitting on that tarmac and I can't get out, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I'm sitting on that tarmac and I can't get out, I deeply and completely accept myself. This fear that I can't get out. 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 Good. Interesting. That I just remembered after we got on the flight, went up there, there was absolutely no bumps, no nothing. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. So it was smooth sailing once you got it. Once you got going off the tarmac. Yeah, interesting. You just asked me before, and I can remember that. Yeah. Ever. Interesting. Remember that we got up there, and it was. You know, I got up there, and it was nothing. Right. As the further I went up there, the smaller the plane. Yeah. The last one was about you know. Right. Big. You could smell the glue on that one. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, yeah. And it was fine. The flights were fine. Okay. And how are you feeling now? Just remembering that you were sitting on that tarmac, and you couldn't get off the plane. Well, I keep, honestly, I just keep thinking you were firing and you ultimately got off. Great. Perfect. Okay. Um, and now, the little piece that, that you said you couldn't distinguish one from the other, being in the plane and not being able to get off on the first leg of that trip. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Um, now, the fear that you're going to get on the plane to Mexico and you've done all this work in front of all these people and that you're still going to experience something, is that still there? Yep. Okay. Even though I have this remaining fear that the fear is not gone, I'm going to get on that flight to Mexico and all of this will come up again, I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I have this fear of the fear, Even though I have this fear of the fear that it's not really gone, it's not really gone I, deeply and accept I deeply and completely accept myself. Even though I feel the fear of the fear, Even though I feel the fear, of the fear what if it's not gone? What if I get on that plane to Mexico and the fear's not gone? And the fear's not gone I deeply and completely accept myself. Good. This remaining fear, 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 this remaining fear. All right, how you doing? It's still there. It's still there. Zero to ten. I'm I'm not stressing about it. Okay. I. You're, yeah, cause you're, I'm cause not stressing about it. I just, I just wonder. You just wonder. Yeah, if I get on there and the first time we do this, am I gonna, you know, cancel a God's dead meeting and, and you know, everything starts all over again, or okay, or what? Okay. You know. But, okay. So you know, is it? So a wonder is. Have to do it and find out. Well, yeah. The, well, the ultimate test is yeah. going to be you getting on a plane, yeah. and we can't recreate that here. <laughs> we could go, we, you know what we could do? We could go to Fred Lindahl's plane in Langley, at the Langley Airport. And we can just sit in there and do it as the ultimate test before, before Mexico. You game for that? 
Excellent. All right, and like I said, there are some pieces that come out, shifting aspects, that we may not have brought up here. So it's not that EFT didn't work, it's that we, didn't, we weren't able to drum that up in this session. So I want to um, I want to keep in touch with you. We're gonna I want I want to do a session with you just to teach you EFT, so that at least you have this, in case you're feeling anything up on the plane. But also let's do a test at, at Fred's on Fred's plane. Yeah, All right. Yeah, I'd love to. Okay. How are you feeling? Much better. Much better. A little embarrassed, but much better. Okay. Can we tap on the embarrassment? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Even though I'm feeling embarrassed. Even though I'm feeling embarrassed. I know these folks have learned a lot from me. Maybe I'll help someone else with this problem. And I can accept myself. Even though I'm feeling embarrassed, I deeply and completely accept myself. Off the ground. But how are you how are you feeling? How's your Nervous. Okay, where do you think? Uh here. Okay. How zero to ten? About an eight. Okay. Even though I'm here. All right. <laughs> Watch out, Craig. You're going to get hit. <laughs> just, just look at all familiar. Watch from out. From the honeymoon aspect. <laughs> okay. Even though. Even though. Just look at the plane and tell me what comes up. What are, what are the thoughts connected with just looking at the plane? Not getting in. Can't get in. Can't get in. I accept myself. Even though I look at the plane. Even though I look at the plane. And I don't feel like getting in. Feel like getting in. I accept myself. And we will look at some of the stuff that's in there. How are you feeling, Brad? Okay. Okay. Is it going up a little? A little bit. Okay, hold yeah. hold on. Hold okay. On. What, what, what is it about well, looking at the instruments? Get, well, yeah, I'm just about to get into an okay. instrument. Okay, we're not gonna okay. get in. We're not gonna okay. get in. Okay. okay. Let's do, wait, wait, we'll just this doesn't have to be like exposure where you're forcing it. <laughs> no. Okay. All right, where are you feeling it? Oh just you know. Chest just, again? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even Fixed up to another one of those. So if you want to land here, take out. Do you have to clear it with anybody? Do nope. You no just talk to you. you. Just talk to your friends okay. and things like that. Okay. But when we go up to Victoria, for example, we're going through the airspace controlled by NAS Whidbey. So we. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. Yep. Anyway. Uh, what are the How you doing? Fine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing, Brad? Fine.